YouTube, welcome back to Living Life Fast. Today is quite an exciting day. I'm over in Hemel Hempstead at a company called Drift Limits. I'm going to be drifting a Mazda MX-5. I think I've got 18 laps. So it's going to be quite exciting. I know a lot of you lot think I'm some kind of drift king, but I've never been on track. Um, I don't know what that was all about. Um, never been on track. So holding slide from corner to corner is a little different from, you know, power sliding out of corners. So um, hopefully going to learn some stuff today. Uh, quite restricted with camera uh, with my camera today, so there's not going to be much cinematics. I'm not allowed to fly my drone. Uh, I think I can get my GoPro in the car, but they seem quite restrictive uh, with filming. So I'm hoping that this video does turn out cool. But from this moment here, it may just skip to me inside the car, so I, I don't really know. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in a second. So guys, we're in the Mazda MX-5. I'm joined by Omar, the instructor. He's going to be teaching me today, hopefully how to drift. So um, Omar, do you want to sort of explain what we're going to be doing today? And, yeah. You know, how it starts. So Ricardo, you've done the briefing. Done the um, briefing, yeah. All good with that? Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. the safety stuff, you know, yeah. <laughs> the boring stuff. Um, so we're going to go out now. Mm -hmm. I'll show you a couple of laps. Uh, I'll show you one lap just to uh, get you familiar with the track. Yeah. Uh, another la a lap to just show you the techniques of well, what we'll be doing to get the car sideways. Yeah. And the third lap, uh, to sort of a show off lap. Okay. To show you sort of all how it feels like. So we're going to do like two, three laps now, basically, yeah? And yeah. then I'll, I'll be jumping. How many laps will I be doing? Uh, you've got 20. 20, yeah. And yeah. that's the silver. I've got silver. Yeah, the silver like. experience. Yeah. And the MX-5s, they're good to drift as well, aren't they? Light yeah. to light. What, what kind of power do they run? Uh, not a lot. Um, the 1.8s, I think they're about 120, 130 horsepower. Um, yeah. yeah. Very nice. popular for drifting though, right? Very popular. Good weight distribution. Yeah. Don't have to do a lot to them. These have just got coil ends on them and the uh, factory LSD, okay. and they are ready to go. Cool, man. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy. Guys, man, I'm a bit paranoid. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, so we've got two routes here. We've got a left hander and a right hander. Yeah. Um, this is just a bit more of a corner. Yeah. I tend to. I prefer this one. So you're saying try entering it third gear, yeah? So yeah, third gear for everything. Yeah, um, a little bit of throttle. 
Yeah. Because it just goes into a slide, doesn't it? Yeah. Right away. Spot it, guys. But yeah, it's a really good start. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to tell you anything. So what, <laughs> what we can work on is just basically linking the whole track. Yeah, you know what it is. These pedals are so close together. It's yeah. kind of um, yeah. Left foot, I always left it breaking into this one and the uh, bottom one left just to, breaking, just to yeah. carry it on. It's like doing a burnout while you're moving. You know what, being able to drift in a you know safe environment is the best feeling ever. I've never been on a track, I don't know why I haven't done this any sooner. Um, I mean, what do I say it's like? It's kind of weird because it's not the same as initiating a drift in real life. In my E92, you have to commit so much more to the drift, like whereas in this, it's just like, it's already an oversteer immediately. So it's really fun. I did ask Omar, how does this translate in, you know, drifting my car, for example, and he, he said exactly what I'm saying. It's a little different, a little easier to initiate, but steering inputs are all exactly the same. You know what I mean? Counter locking, steering into the drift. It's exactly the same. You see, I had a few moments. This guy in the Porsche now, he's just going crazy. <laughs> he's just spinning out every second. I think with these plastic, they've got like... This guy's going nuts right now. Omar's just gone back to the pit lane to put a new plastic thing around the tyre. It actually flew off, I think that's why I spun out. But yeah, rate my driving guys, rate me!
<laughs> I don't do hey, handbrakes, man. That's what we wanted. <laughs> Without the spin at the end. Yeah. No, no. Guys, we've switched cars. We're in a Porsche Cayman, is this? Yes, yeah. Cayman, yeah. So it's all drift set up as well. Battle of Omar again. I've got about six laps left, so uh, we switched over. See what this car's like. She's saying this one's a bit easier, yeah. So than the MX1, a bit more stable, a bit more stable, yeah. yeah. Um, we've switched over from the drift cars, we're now in a Porsche GC2. Uh, this is Tom, the, my second instructor. So, Tom, do you want to explain what we're doing now? What we're in now, like you said, we're in a Porsche GT2 car, uh, best part of 600 pound feet of torque. Uh, we're going to head out, do 10 laps of our supercar circuit, mm -hmm. um, and see how you get on. You've already took me out for a sighting, a yep. couple of laps. To... We did a few sighting laps, showing, showing you the actual circuit, yeah. um, getting you comfortable. So, now we're going to head out. Gear, and that's it, you ain't got to worry about gears anymore. So, both yeah. hands on the wheel, fully off that clutch pedal. Keep it to the left here. When you get to this cone, try your brakes out nice and hard on this brake. So, the cone from this one all the way to that one there. Off the brakes on this cone, get a steering in nice and tight on this curve here. Keep it tight, tight, tight. That's good. Set your steering now. Let the car come out nice and wide. Not so wide that on those white lines. That's it. Hold it out here. Ignore this curve on this side. Holding it out here. Look for that dip. You hit that, you're going to tighten up again. And we tighten that cone. Straighten this one as well. Let the car to the middle of the track around here. Not too wide. And tuck in there again, nice and tight. Are you traffic braking? No, that was. Yeah, I am, yeah. Don't need to do that, mate. Okay. Just like steering in there nice um, and tight. That thing just flashed by itself, then, though. Yeah. Traction control. Yeah. It's because you'd have been braking. You need to put it off. That's to get first gain of full power now. Is this rear wheel drive? Uh, braking down, nice and tight. Yeah, rear wheel drive. That's it. Coming off again. Steering in tight here. Not too early, like that. Not too early. Get to the cone. Feeding it in, feeding it in, feeding it in. Get it all straight off full power. And brake it down. Nice and hard, nice and hard, nice and hard. Off of the brake. Steering in tight here. Tight. That's it, that's better. That's it. Let it out now. Good, keep it smooth, keep it smooth, keep it out here, keep it out here. Right. So that's tighten up, tighten up. And again, tight here as well. Keep it sitting smooth through there and back in again. And there we are, stay soft and long on the brakes around this corner. Let's tighten up to the clamp, kind of clamp. Kind of let it out wide. If you understeer there, we've got that extra big steering, but yeah. just made it understeer. There we are, full power now. And break it down, nice and hard, nice and hard. Off of the brakes, not too early, not too early, get that cone feeding, 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 full power. Break it down really hard, really hard. Off of the brake, off of the brake, steering in tight. Do one nice hard long braking motion in, yeah. in tight rather than okay. two or three of them. Yeah. That's it, we'll go back in now. Steering in tight again, so keep it smooth, keep it smooth. And we'll go back in again now. That's it, and there we are, soft and long, just ease off around it, car up ahead, tighten up to them. Let it out really hard, really hard. So just uh, uh, oh, the half since that's good. Go on, off we go. Great, uh, you can see. And hard now. We're off. That's it. Steering in. Make sure you're steering in as yeah, soon as you 
you're off the brakes, yeah, as soon as you're off the brakes. Uh, leave it running. Um, yeah, no, thanks for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, wicked. Really nice, really nicely driven. Yeah. The confidence it gives you is unreal. This car really does actually give you confidence. As long as you're doing your braking right, this car's really easy to not up, frankly. Some of the other cars, you can't drive that fast because mm. it will just, I mean, ignoring the fact they're less powerful, you can't yeah. drive that quickly around the rest of it because it will just send you off. Yeah. Things like the R8, um, the R8 you're getting on the power, too, too jerky on the throttle and that, and it steps out really quickly, it's four wheel yeah. drive, but it's yeah. about 8% of the bias, yeah, bias yeah. and it steps out far too quickly. Mm. Um, TVR, nice car to drive, um, really easy to place, mm. really nice to actually go around all the corners in, less powerful, yeah. but if you do it wrong, yeah. oversteer off. or? Uh, lift off oversteer, okay. straight away, oh, okay. that second left hand corner, yeah. if you were going around that and yeah. doing the things that you were doing in this car, yeah. in the TVR we'd we'll spun. Okay. With a spun, yeah. That's what we got. Ferrari's sketchy mm. sometimes. Okay. Mm, it's pretty good. Um, what about the aerial? You could go, yeah. No, to be fair, the aerial, you could go that oh. sort of speeds yeah. in the aerial, yeah, definitely, yeah. Thanks for um, yeah, taking me around. Thanks, mate. And, uh, yeah. So, let me get you this. Oh. Right, so I'm going to end the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, yeah, I'll leave it as that. Thank you for watching. Bye.